You think we're doing enough to get the St. John's to like us? Well, we don't want to seem over-anxious. Showing them we can handle this fence is going to go a long way. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Looks like he's stuck. And he said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Looks like he's stuck. Looks like he's stuck. Maybe the St. John boys are using this guy for target practice? Uh, poor guy. I don't know who got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Disgusting. Come on, I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. right into its hands. I think they fused together. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but... It's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Uh, having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> if you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee? Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. 
What the? Get to the gate. Get down. You asshole. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? The fence on that gate is our only way out. We're not your enemy! Wait, you'll see you. Give it the food! Lee, get back here! Now there you are, boys! Behind the trap! I see ya! Did you really think you were fucking us? Blades are stuck in the dirt. Can't hide forever! I see him! Get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh uh, my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Hey y'all. Mark, oh my God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. So much for your deal. Those oh, shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. 
Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. 